Hi everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a Studio Calico unboxing. I have the January documentary kit, which now has a different format, so I want to see how I feel about that. And I ordered a few add-ons. This is a 6x12 page protector. And I, sometimes I use this as an insert in my project life. I think that these 6x4 pockets are a little bit smaller. And we'll see once I open the kit and I try them out. They were on sale. I think they were like $2 or something like that. So I decided that maybe I could work with that. You never know, or I could uh, use them in my December daily, maybe, I don't know, fold it, make it a flip, who knows. And I got this washi that was pretty inexpensive. It was less than a dollar, I believe. I can't open it. And it's just a square pattern. It's really cute. And it's pink and this is something that I can easily use for layering so we got those two uh, and I got these stickers that are perfect for the December daily that I'm still working on I love the little bows and the stars and hearts and it comes with two sheets I don't think you can see it and then the stamp set that comes with well it's an add-on to this kit. Uh, they fix the quality of the stamps, which I'm really happy about, especially for these little words. Um, but it seemed like an everyday kind of stamp set. It says, Eternal Optimist, here's the truth, make today lovely, and then two frames, and then we have flowers and hearts, so... So that was really cute. I especially love the frames because I missed out on a stamp set from Feed Your Craft that had frames. And I'm still sad about it. So let's see the kit. New format. I have mixed feelings about it. I I wasn't mad or sad or anything. I was like, I need to see it and have it in my hands before I form a decision. Now this whole... Uh, six by eight paper pad instead of cards is how they sell their holiday kits, especially their Holly Jolly and the Halloween kit. Oh, this is pretty cute. And inside it has like a giant tag. Let me see if I can open it. And I actually like working with those kits. And I like that sometimes I prefer a big pattern over having a, the card. So I don't think I, I'll know exactly how I feel until I have to use it for project life because it's easier in my opinion for a project like December Daily where you have a 6x8 album so the pages fit perfectly. And I love the pattern on this little bag. I love both of the patterns, but I prefer the, the flowers. It's really cute. And then we have this huge tag. It's really cute. Yeah, I love the colors. It's really pretty. And as always, I, I took a quick peek at the kit. I always do that to make sure that I want to get the kit, that I like it. Uh, good thing about me and terrible thing it's that I have a very crappy memory so I know that I looked at it I added the add-ons and I figured they would fit especially these two with the kit and then it, it left my brain uh, oh I love that the washi tape and I saw that and I knew that we were gonna get washi tape so I'm like wait if you're gonna give me washi tape every month then I might be team new kit, but I know that there are lots of people that have different opinions. So let me know what do you think about, you know, the new idea and this kit. Because uh, I don't know, I feel like it's it would be an interesting conversation to have. I think, okay, so these are die cuts. There are circles, I think they are one and a half inches. And... They are pretty, um, 
abstract sort of I want to say I like them so far I love a label uh, I love them for layering I love them for uh, adding journaling and it has a zero one I wonder if this is going to be the monthly item I don't see a monthly item. Oh, I'm kind of bummed about that. Huh. Okay. So, good. And the first pro is washi tape. The second one is that I don't think we're going to get a monthly marker. And I really enjoy those. Even though I don't do Project Life uh, monthly. I, I mostly follow the the photos that I have. Sometimes I have a bunch of months and I mean a bunch of weeks in one spread. Sometimes I have a one week spread that has way too many items and uh, and very few times I have a monthly one but I just mostly follow. I think I should have gone a little closer with this so we have these i love these longer ones they're really cute and again to add that journaling maybe put it around a book if you're doing book journaling and then we have these ones that are like woodsy and i like that they are velvet uh, vellum i was gonna say velvet they're vellum so you can layer them and still see what's behind them. I like that, this idea. I love this one, this product. And then we have these stickers that are so, so cute. I think we only get one. Oh, and I think there was like a switch in their product. The song, I mean, I mean packaging. Uh, it's only one. That's a bummer, but it does have a little bit of foiling. Here a coffee and here at this bottom one. It's really cute. We have the coffee place, some houses, bookshop, bakery, shop, uh, coffee. We need two coffee places. And then we got the higher buildings. I love this. This is so, so cute. Wish we had two sheets, but I think one is fine. And then we have alphas. You know, my usual comment about alphas is that I want numbers. I love this one. It's like a varsity sort of font. Like the color, the green. It's very cute. It's very well with the, um, the kit. And I also like that it's not um, like winter center. Especially, I'm pretty sure that people that live in the southern hemisphere appreciate that. But also, I don't have that many winter related items and then we have the chipboard stickers we have a few phrases new year new me today is a great day for a fresh start goals achieved working on find joy hello goodbye then now hello 2024 seeing the good in this and looking ahead and then we have some of those frames with hearts and the flowers Find joy. This is really cute. Love everything so far. Okay. So, hmm. oh, and this. I forgot about this. And now we have the papers. like the top one more it's really cute oh I love this you see if you do um, project life in a six by eight this is also a very cool way to use it although I could cut this in two. Oh, I said that I was gonna check I forgot that, <laughs> that there were no cards anymore let's see what's going on with this I think yeah it's we have to cut it a little bit shorter. The bottom one, let me see if the top one is normal. No, it's, it's less, it's a little more exact to four by six, but this one at the bottom is way smaller. And 
then the three by four cards fit okay that's good oh i didn't even i was looking at, at the size of the cards and i didn't notice love the new beginnings and reading list uh there's a 14 list in here i love that that's pretty cool love 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 this pattern if i didn't like either one of those i could use uh, pattern paper love this idea this is cute too okay now we have a repeat i love this one this would be such a great title card where you can write your journaling in here or add a photo maybe that it's not uh six by four maybe those sometimes i take panoramic photos if you don't know how to do it it's on the iphone uh you basically put it in the panoramic setting and then you just run your cell phone uh either you know if it's a flat lay you would go like this or you can even go up i've taken a few pictures like that oh, so that would be cute and then this is cute but this would be either great for journaling or as an intro page I can never do even though I love small albums I can never do a six by I can't do anything smaller than 12 by 12 I take too many photos love these cards and this one feels like old studio calico out and about and then you have like a check mark this is really cute feels like home here whoa my eyes <laughs> uh the new year is here then we have flower the new year here. you see so maybe for people contemplating six by eight it would be good i'm still happy with the kit um this is really pretty for project life however it would be a little bit more difficult for me to um, store because I still have and what I want to do pretty soon is take a few kits that look alike or match and put them together so I can free some of these um, pouch bags but it would bend the corners of of the paper so I don't think I could use it for that maybe I could although there are pretty good bags on scrapbook.com and Amazon and I'm sorry that I'm rambling I'm just trying to go through how I feel about this kit since it's a new format and maybe these are you know questions that you also have oh this is so cute I love this one that we get a smaller one and then we get a huge card location how i feel in details this is really nice rise up start fresh see the bright opportunity in each new day and i love this i feel like this is like a little bit off to the side of course they have their signature rainbow oh this is so cute okay i like both sides of this starting from scratch and this is so cute i love this card and this one i don't know why i always do the the front cover in like last i don't know welcome home this wiggly pattern and i still have to finish a uh, project that I started last year and it was a, a trip to the aquarium so some of these might look really good in that and it's a four by six album not album it's like a mini notebook from everyday explorers so we have oh yeah so much goodness I love these four these are my favorite and I love these little ones oh and I like this too very cute Take time to go exploring yesterday, tomorrow. I also wonder if 
it feels like we're technically going to get more journaling cards because like I feel that this so far would be would count all the cards that we have the three by fours and the six by four so I think that we get a little bit more maybe I'm no I'm not wrong and I'm gonna okay Okay, I haven't used the December one. And sorry, I'm like a Atlas chicken going around. Because, okay, I have this one ready to use, but I haven't. And if you look at it, the, the width of that chunk. Oh, yeah, drop them. That will help. It's pretty similar to what I have here. So we would have extra cards. So I'm guessing that's a good thing. That's another pro. Okay. And, okay. Then we have numbers. I like this too. And this could be really good also for the me, all about me project from Heba. Or you can use it for a reading journal. Feels like home. Start here. I love this pattern. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love these. I used this uh, something similar for my December daily. And I was kind of hoping that they would include a few that look like this. Because you can either uh, cut them and use them as, you know... Uh, cut aparts or you can use the whole page which is what I did and then we have yesterday today and tomorrow we have this little 12 squares the month of January so maybe this is going to be the new monthly thing I don't love it I, I love this page but I don't like that this is going to be my marker or that plain one Maybe to make it easier for people who do Traveler's Notebook and don't usually go for the whole month thing. But I think that they should have added at least one. Because when they use the stickers, and I'm glad I have this here, uh, not all of them were December. Okay, so we have three of those and then we have a number. Actually, we have four. And then we have 12, 12. So I could see it, but they could add more simple things like this so that's a con all in all i think i'm pretty happy with the new format uh do i prefer it over the old one no not really i'm just lazy and i don't want to cut but i like that we get more and that might me you know makes me happy and we get washi tape so you know, let me know what your thoughts are about this. I really would love to have a conversation on the, you know, comment section about it because uh, I'm just curious about how everyone feels. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye.